When signing up for Fireflies, you're just a few steps away from having your meeting recorded, transcribed, and summarized. So we're, we're right here on the login screen. So I'm going to hit sign up with Fireflies.ai. I'm going to have two options. I can either sign up and log in with Google Calendar, or I can sign up and log in with Outlook Calendar. So I'm going to pick Google Calendar, and I'm going to log in with an account. So it'll be my Gmail account that I'm going to be logging in with. Once I sign up with Fireflies, it'll ask me to give access to the calendar. This is important because Fireflies joins your meetings based on what is on your calendar. All right, now I'm at the settings page uh, as part of my onboarding. Here are my join settings. This will help me configure which meetings Fireflies joins. These are my sharing recap settings. So this will configure which person or people will get the meeting recaps after the meeting is complete. So by default, it has join all calendar events with a web conferencing link. What that means is if I have a calendar event on my GCal where there's a video conferencing link in it, like a Google Meet link, a Zoom link, uh, et cetera, Fireflies will automatically join that meeting. This option right here is join only calendar events that I own. So if there is a calendar event that has a video conferencing link, and if I am the owner and host of that meeting, Fireflies will join it. Here it'll join regardless of if I'm the host or not. Here it'll only join if I'm the host. And then we have this other option here where what if, if I don't want Fireflies to automatically join my meetings? I want to only have it join when I explicitly invite Fireflies. Then the setting here is join calendar events only when I invite Fred at Fireflies.ai as a participant on those calendar invites. All right. And so for the purpose of this, I'm going to have it set to join all calendar events. Now here are the recap settings. What this means is after the meeting, every participant on that calendar invite would get the recap because it says send recaps to everyone on the invite. If I wanted to only send the recap to myself, then I would pick the send recaps only to me option. If I want to send recaps to my teammates and myself, then I would pick this option. The way Fireflies determines if you're a teammate or not is if I sign up with my corporate domain account, uh, it will match the people with that domain on the calendar invite and send it to those people. Now, here I signed up with my regular Gmail account, so I have three options for my join settings. Uh, if I signed up with my corporate domain, let's say I signed up with bob at tesla.com, then I'll have two other options here. One option will say join only calendar events with my internal teammates. So if the calendar invite only has other people from, say, tesla.com, then Fireflies would join that. There's also another option that says join only external events. What that option does is Fireflies will only join if the folks on the calendar invite are people from outside of my company domain. So if I'm having sales calls or customer calls and I only want Fireflies to join those and not my internal meetings, then I would pick that option. We don't see those two options here because I signed up with my Gmail account, as I mentioned. Let's continue over to the dashboard. And what you'll see here is the upcoming meeting. So Fireflies has automatically detected an upcoming meeting um, and it is toggled on, meaning it'll automatically join. It's found a meeting with a video conferencing link and it will join that uh, meeting. I can toggle it off to prevent Fireflies from joining that meeting. The reason it's automatically toggled on is because my join settings here, as you can see, is set to join all calendar events with a video conferencing link. I can also change it to one of the other options like on the onboarding screen. And similarly, the sharing recap notes options are here uh, in the top right corner. So this join settings is important for you to understand uh, how to invite Fireflies to your meetings. You can also find your join settings in the settings page in app.fireflies.ai slash settings. You'll see your join settings here. Um, and you'll also see your share recap email settings here. So those are the two options probably the most important place to get started. Let's say I had changed my settings to join only calendar invites when I invite Fred at fireflies.ai. Now, if I were to do that, I can go to my calendar and then I can create a manual meeting. I'm just gonna make a test meeting. I'm gonna add a video conferencing link. So this time we're gonna use Google Meet. And for the guest, I'm gonna enter Fred at fireflies.ai. So now that I've explicitly invited Fred at Fireflies.ai to the meeting, I will send it. 
fireflies will join that call, right? So that's what's going to happen here. All right, so I've set, as you can see, that thing is there, and I've explicitly invited fireflies. Let's say for whatever reason, I forgot to manually invite fireflies, or I don't have my settings to auto join all meetings on my calendar. Uh, and now the meeting has started and I really want to invite fireflies. What I could do is I can use the add to live meeting option and I can create a name for the meeting, you know, test sample. I can set the duration of the meeting and then I can enter the video conferencing URL for the Google meet. So let's take the Google meet URL and I would put it in and then I'd hit start add now. And this way, Fireflies within the next two to three minutes would join my live meeting, right? So that's another way that I can invite Fireflies to my meetings, right? So this is how you have the Fireflies AI note taker bot join your meetings, right? So you can configure your join settings, you can add it to your live meetings, and you can also see your upcoming meetings for the next two days here on your calendar. Now, there are some more advanced settings that we can talk about. So I'm gonna to go to settings here. And these are meeting rules. So there are bar rules and join rules. So what these rules will do is supersede any of my settings for meetings that contain a particular title or a particular participant email. So for example, bar rules, what this means is regardless of my join settings, even if my join settings are set to join all meetings that have a calendar invite. If I were to create a bar rule for a meeting title called board meeting, what this will mean is if there's a calendar invite where the title of the meeting is board meeting, Fireflies will not join because the bar rules takes precedence. Now, join rules means regardless of my join settings, uh, whatever title uh, has uh, a particular name, Fireflies would join that meeting. So if I have a meeting title one on one, even if my join settings were set to only join when I manually invite fireflies. And let's say I don't manually invite it to my one on one meeting, regardless of that, fireflies would still join the meeting because my join rules takes precedence over my join settings. So these are what meeting rules are, bar rules uh, and join rules, and they take precedence over the join settings that are up here. Mm -hmm. One other feature that we have that's helpful is a meeting compliance notification setting. So the way Fireflies joins your meeting is the AI note taker bot will request to join the meeting as a participant at the start of the meeting. And you can allow it into the video conferencing platform and it'll be there as a participant. It'll say Fireflies AI note taker uh, and the name of the person that invited it. You can also uh, turn this option on and what this option will do is send a notification one hour before the meeting to participants uh, to let them know, hey, um, I'm an AI note taker, I'm going to be joining the meetings and there'll be an opt out link. So if for whatever reason, someone uh, on the calendar invite, one of the participants doesn't want Fireflies on the meeting, they can click that and then Fireflies will not join that call even if you had invited it, if someone opted out, that's something. So if you wanna have compliance options, this is something that's there. It's a neat feature that can help you, right? So you know how Fireflies will join your meetings. You can also look at the status of your meetings and meeting status. And so what this will do is it'll show you who would join on behalf of what stage it's at. And uh, once it's done processing, it'll take about five to 10 minutes and then you will get the meeting recap email to you. So that's the meeting status page. So, so far what we've talked about is how to get the Fireflies AI note taker bot to join your meetings as a participant. Uh, if you don't wanna have the bot join your meetings, there's a few other options. One is you can just upload already recorded audio files um, and then you can upload them into Fireflies. So that's one option and then have them transcribed. And we have an upload section as well. You can import MP3, uh, M4A, WAV, and now we even support video files. Um, of a certain size that you can upload in and then have the uh, audio of those meetings transcribed. Another thing you can do is also install our Chrome extension. So this Chrome extension, uh, when you install it, anytime you have a Google Meet meeting, it will automatically capture that meeting or you can have it uh, captured. And this way, no bot joins your meeting, but 
the Google Meet meeting is captured and transcribed directly from your browser tab. Uh, and this is great for people that don't want the bot uh, in your meetings. Today, only Google Meet is supported through the Chrome extension. We plan to support other video conferencing platforms uh, as well down the road. So if you're having a meeting in your browser and you have the Chrome extension installed, uh, your Google Meet meeting will be captured. One other option that we have is a native Zoom integration. And so what this integration is, you can find in the audio recording section, is if you don't want the bot to join your meetings, but let's say you have a Zoom Pro business or enterprise account, uh, if you turn on this integration and then in the Zoom app itself, you record to the cloud. Uh, so there's an option to do a cloud recording or save to the cloud. When you do that and when you record directly within Zoom, Zoom will then send the audio file over to Fireflies and Fireflies will process it and transcribe it and save it into your dashboard. So if you don't want to invite the Fireflies bot to your meetings, uh, this is another alternative if you're a Zoom user. So the Chrome extension is great for Google Meet users and the Zoom native integration is great for Zoom users that don't want to invite the bot. So there are multiple ways that you can capture your meetings. Uh, it's just that the bot uh, joining your calendar events is the most common and the easiest, uh, but we have other uh, options as well.